What's going on guys, and today we have yet another episode of the Robotech Glory series. As you will see, I've got a new kind of face cam um, overlay thing which looks quite cool. Make sure to tell me in the comment section down below if you like it or not. If we can smash 15 likes in today's video guys, that'd be absolutely insane. The transfer rumours will be returning the next couple of days. I've also got a new, a new giveaway series that I'm going to be starting sometime this week or next week. Not too sure when I'm going to release the first episode of that, but it should be out soon. Shout out Sunday wasn't this week. Um, I forgot to upload it. I, I wasn't like able to upload it that day so I left it for this week but I will be returning next week with double the winners because of course I didn't I didn't do it this week so we'll, we'll maybe double the winners we'll see how many people actually um have a chance of getting it and then we'll decide through that but as you can see guys we went to the first game of today's episode Hamseek what a stunning strike he has been great for me so far in this series I want to talk about a few subjects to, in today's episode as well of course in this Road to Glory series um Along with kind of the clips in the background and what I'm doing in the Road to Glory, I'll talk about that and also kind of what's going on in FIFA at the moment, how um, you guys can do your Road to Glories, how maybe um, you can make the most out of your teams, the most you can get the most money, stuff like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is talk about the chemistry and fitness glitch. That, of course, was a glitch when I was on holiday. I actually missed the whole glitch completely. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing um, because I heard a lot of people made quite a lot of money on it, but some also lost a lot because the prices have dropped in the last day because EA have released an update or are going to release an update. There was one today. I'm not too sure if that was it, um, but if it was, they have done an update and prices just dropped because everybody was like, you know what? I can't play left forwards at striker and get good chem anymore or something like that. Um, or maybe it was um, left forwards at centre mid, you can get left mids at centre mid. All these players got better chem than they should have um, and that was kind of the glitch. So people were starting to uh, panic sell them thinking, well this glitch isn't going to work anymore, they're not going to get as much chemistry in those um, respective positions. So we might, we might as well sell them and see um, how much money I guess they wanted to see how much they could make back from it. But even though they fixed it, I think think prices will rise back up. I don't think they will stay as low as they went. I think they'll probably go back up to maybe in between what they are now and what they were. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how how that kind of progresses, how that happens. Um, <clears throat> and maybe in the next episode I'll tell you guys more about that. I also want to talk about how FIFA is just in general at the moment. It was a bit, la a bit lacklustre. It wasn't the best game to play maybe a few weeks ago. It's getting better now. Um, I'm actually enjoying it more over the last couple of days. It's not going to be obviously as fun as it was earlier in the game until kind of FIFA 17 comes out. I mean, team of the season's passed, team of the year's passed, <coughs> even the Euros are passed now. So it looks as if the only special cards you can see are the pink footies, which of course came out last year, which we get a pick, which will be quite fun. Um, and also possibly there could be Olympics cards. I'm not too sure what they're going to do. In regards to the Olympics cards, if they do bring some out, it could be completely different colours I've not seen before. Um, but there is football at the Olympics, of course. If teams or players do well in that, we could be seeing some Olympics cards. So that'll be actually interesting to see. Hopefully we can see that. Um, and yeah, I'll really like to get my hands and see kind of how they look. Um, get my hands on some of them and try them out as well. But as you can see, guys, we were winning 2 0, and I believe this is the second game of today. And can I just see how good Nine goal is? You can see here what a goal that was, what a strike. Raja Nine getting goal and getting the goal for us. Also, Montalivo, if you need a, a, a player who is very, very cheap, he just scores an goal here. This is the second of this game. If you need a centre mid from the Serie A that's very, very cheap, um, get Montalivo, he's only like four or 500 coins and he is such a good midfielder, he does the pass, he could score as you can see there, he scored two goals, um, didn't even get the best rating in our squad which was kind of surprising but he is a very very good centre mid, if you need a cheap one definitely go out and buy yourself a Montalivo, so back to kind of the FIFA thing, um, the Olympics cards if they do bring them out will, will be really interesting to see, the Euros cards were quite nice, they had the Copa America cards so I can't see them not doing um, the cards for the Olympics. And there is quite a few big players going, of course, not a lot of the Euro players might go. Um, Neymar obviously picked the Olympics over Copa America, so that'll be interesting to see. Great goal from Gomez there, as you can see there. Um, but I, I hope, I hope there's a lot of players going. I hope there's a lot of kind of world-class players so we can get a good tournament. It's not just going to be one team, maybe, that, that all the players didn't go um, to a certain competition and waited for the Olympics. I want to see kind of it more even than that. I don't want to see one amazing team, the rest are okay. I want to see kind of, I are all okay teams are all amazing teams. Just to kind of even it out and see um, if, and see if kind of, I, I want to kind of see a surprise winner in a way, but I don't want it to be 
Um, I, I, I want it to be even. I don't want it to be like Brazil, of course, have Neymar. They have all our players that then go to the Copa America as well. I don't want them to just win it easily now. I want there to be kind of surprises. I want to see maybe more teams do well as well, of course. Um, and that will probably be held by the fact that a lot of players, of course, aren't going to the U aren't going to the Olympics, as I said, because of Copa America and the Euros and stuff like that. So, but I can't wait to the Olympics. It's going to be very good, not just for football, of course, for every other event. I love watching the running. I love watching even some of the field events. I love I love actually quite a lot of it. Swimming is quite fun to watch as well. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to watching that, guys. We went to the final episode, I believe, is it the final episode? Maybe the second to last episode, no, I think it's the final episode, of today's episode. And this was the final of the Serie A Cup. Yet again, I'm sorry, this was recorded roughly a month ago. Um, and that is why, of course, this cup is still out. It was the Cup to win Sansone, the team of the season card, um, the untradeable one. So we really did want to win it. It was like our second or third try, I believe, to win it. So we, we kind of needed to do it in this turn. It was kind of the last time we had to do it before um, the Samsung card wasn't available anymore to win in the tournament. As you can see, two great goals. I believe they're both nine goals. Yeah, that one was, uh, anyway, and that was a really nice strike to make it 2-0. And we just dominated this guy. This guy really had no chance in the game. Great ball inside. It was Montalivo again, who is just a tank of this game. Go pick him up, guys, if you need a cheap Serie A midfield. I know I've said that so many times, but he is quality quality good as you can see Dybala great ball course there was Gomez making it 4-0 um, inside 47 minutes we then went into the 54th minute great turn by the defender to be fair not too sure about this though kind of ran straight into me there was Hamsik to bury that one into the top of the net the top of the corner really really nice goal from Hamsik to give us the 5-0 lead but no we were not finished there Raja 9 going going through on goal and making it 6 no, he is so good now and going. I love him in this game. One of the best midfielders I've used. One of the best central midfielders, if not the best, actually, I have used in this game so far. Very, very good. Um, and, yeah, the, we won the tournament with ease. It was really easy to win it. We won that team of the season, Sansone card. For some reason, doesn't have a name there. Don't know why. Um, but our record is okay. It's 16-1-6. and six. It's nowhere near as, what, as uh, good as I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be roughly maybe 16 16 0 2 or something like that. 16 0 0 if I could. 16 0 1, whatever that. I think because we've been playing a lot of tournaments with not great squads is a reason we haven't got that many victories. Um, but a quick hint, as you'll see in the coming episodes, guys, that 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 um that that record does uh, significantly get better. It does get better, and I'm glad um, that it does. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed today's episode. Smash the like button, subscribe, guys, as well if you're new to the channel. And apart from that, I'll see you guys next time.